Hi, my name is Tessa, and my animal I'm doing is the fox squirrel. It's also known as the eastern fox squirrel, and its scientific name is the Scurious niger. And that's the front view and side view. Its habitat and range is it, it lives in mixed forests, forest, swamps, and cypress. And that picture is one of the cypress it lives in. Its climate is it's very picky. They do not hibernate in the winter, but they are really picky about it. And their range is that they are found in eastern and central parts of the U.S. Their states they are found in is the Dakotas, Colorado, Kansas, and Texas. Their way of life. Their eating habits, they eat acorns, hickory, walnuts, mulberries, fruits, corn, and some insects. Their lifespan is there six to seven years in wildlife, 18 years in captivity. And their reproductive behavior is they mate all year round, two litters per year, and that's a baby picture of it. 45 days digestive period, which means it's probably about how long it takes. And then they have two to four babies, and when they are born, they are naked and blind, and they can't walk. They are independent when they become three months old. And their social behavior is that they share their feeding areas. They don't like to share where they sleep or other places, but they will share their feeding areas. Some of their natural predators are hawks, owls, snakes, and probably some other animals. And then they take advantage of their climbing to get away from most of the predators. Their description is that they are the largest tree squirrel. They are 10 to 15 inches in length, and they have different color patterns. It depends on where they're from is where their colors, such as the northeastern, they are gray on top with yellowish undersides. And the western, they are gray on top with rusted coloring undersides. And in the southern part, they are black with white stripes on face and white tips on the tail. As you can see, the southern is more darker colored. And yes. The family comparison is I'm comparing it the fox squirrel with the black-tailed prairie dog. There are differences they have is they have different calls, features on the body, tails, and fur color. Their similarities are that they have the same family, and they do have the same ears, and their eyes look the same, and their noses are almost the same. This is my works cited page, and then that's my picture cited, and thank you for watching.